Bless you for that. You're all low and welcome to the show. You're all in a very good mood, and I think I know why. Yes, marvellous news. She's home after her two-week ordeal in a foreign hellhole. That chubby middle-aged woman is finally back in Britain. Oh. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> Gillian Gibbons, the teddy bear teacher, has been freed from jail in the Sudan. Arrived home on Tuesday, days ago. She'll be settled in well by now, won't she? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> she's, she's, uh, she's fine. It's all distant memory for her now. And uh, there she... Oh, there she is. Uh, hope, <laughs> thankfully, we can't see the camel's toe there. But... Um, <laughs> The poor woman, she was imprisoned and given death threats for naming a teddy bear Muhammad. And you do think, now, these Islamic extremists have to be careful, I think, or people might start to think that they're, um, mental. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a PR disaster. It's a fine line. Now, uh, the primary school teacher had said she won't be going back to work for quite some time. He said, well, no, you're on your Christmas holidays. Yeah. <laughs> See you in March. <laughs> oh, now it's Easter. I'm off again. Now, uh, Look at the fuss. Look at the fuss it caused. There they are. Oh, there they are with big signs calling for a have a harsher sentence. Well, I say signs having a harsher sentence. Those signs can be saying anything, really. It could be a gay pride <laughs> march for all I know. <laughs> uh, that's quite unlikely, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go with calling for the death of someone. <laughs> Gays, Jews, supply teachers, teddy bears, you name it. They're all there. Hey, feel the hate. <laughs> She was uh, freed after the British government sprung into action and Lord Ahmed, the British Labour peer, went to meet the President of Sudan. Here they are. Lovely meeting there. I have to say, the whole thing was quite frank. Uh, you are a backward country with a corrupt government, he told the Labour peer. Switcheroo! <laughs> <laughs> Switcheroo! Switch Followed by, uh, thank you for the flowers and the carpet. Uh, <laughs> That explains the flower shortage. Now, <laughs> and you do think, though, good of him to take the time. Because you know how annoying it is when people call when you're in the shower? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, there's someone at the door. I'll just throw this on. <laughs> uh, anyway, she's... <laughs> Death threat? Me? Now, uh, she's, uh, she's home now. She's home now. And uh, one picture has been released showing the cramped, unpleasant condition she had to put up with. No food, sharing one toilet between hundreds of people. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. But, uh, hey, hey, here's the thing, people. Never mind uh, the woman, it's the bear I feel sorry for, cos it got sent to jail, too. I know, seriously, and you think, poor thing, all alone in a tough male prison? Oh, I wonder if it'll make any new friends. <laughs> hey, who's, who's been eating my porridge? Uh, let's get some guests on! Later, we'll have music from R&B sensation Rihanna! Satan has two penises, drinks human blood, and played Paul in the Wonder Years. All I know is he's here tonight. It's rock star Marilyn Manson! <laughs> Woo! Hello, sir. Oh, we're hugging. There you go. Sit yourself down, sir. I know. And she's finger licking good, and I can't get enough of her. It's cooking goddess Nigella Lawson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! Together at last. <laughs> now, uh, Nigella, you generous mm. creature. I know you're very busy, but you've already made us a lovely gift. I did a cake. And I've got the cake here. I look forward to seeing it. Uh, this is the cake you made. I don't know how long you spent making it. Uh, oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a cat. Now, I don't mean rude, Nigella, but it looks like shit. <laughs> Taste it, it's delicious. Oh, I'm first. Head on a bit? Well, you're going straight for the shit. I'm first. <laughs> Who doesn't? I thought I might try the. Do thing. not cast the first stone straight Ooh. for the shit. Look at that. <laughs> oh. That doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a cruel joke we've played on you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Still dry. 
I could eat on, but I'll save some room for later. That's very nice. <laughs> now, that'd be nice if you visit us around for Christmas, of course. Christmas is coming. It certainly is. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Always. Ria, are you really into Christmas? No, I really am into Christmas. Mm. You into Christmas? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, are you? Yeah. Last year, Christmas, I spent alone. Oh. <laughs> and it, uh, Mine. <laughs> yeah, rock up, rock up, but not jealous. Uh, no, so, but as a child, you found Christmas quite traumatizing. Did I? Yes. Who no, does? <laughs> Weren't you in a nativity play? That was Christian school. On Christmas, I would steal the baby Jesuses and the black wise men. I tried to create some sort of coup in South Florida, <laughs> where they would start a uh, ruckus, where and I wrote a letter. The white man has falsely plasticized the white Christmas, and I went on and on, and then I replaced the baby Jesus with a ham. <laughs> you can't argue with that. No, that's not Frankly, I prefer a ham. Uh, <laughs> I've got a knitted nativity There's like... scene. Nice. <laughs> and what are you doing for Christmas this year? Um, not going to my girlfriend's house. Yeah, because no, you have quite a young girlfriend now, haven't you? Yes, you do too. Girlfriend, unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> well, here in Britain, many people <laughs> will be getting. I noticed there's an open space in the back of your seat. Where? Yes, there is. <laughs> yeah. So it's. Yeah, at any moment, Christmas could come. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, book, book. Uh, mm -hmm. Nigel Express, uh, it, it's been number one in the non-fiction hardback charts. Yeah. Which, presumably, Kurt oh, I'm happy about Yeah, I bet you are. Uh, <laughs> now, now, so what, what's, the, what's the thinking behind it? I'm greedy, but I'm busy. OK, so it's quick cooking. Yes. Very quick. Now, I toss it up, and that takes 49 hours yes. and a half <laughs> to cook. Yes, but it takes no time to make. OK. So, so I divide it, so like, if you just put it in the oven or put it in the fridge, I count that as it doesn't take very long to cook, whereas some things take five minutes from, you know, getting into the kitchen to eating. Yeah, no, it's but true. otherwise, but like I do... Like crystal I'm, meth. So I... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just look that up in the index. Yes, do. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, now, I would say this week, so I watched this week, and you did a lovely uh, hummusy thing. Yes. The red pepper and yes. the, the thingy hummus and... Chickpeas. And uh, you blended all that up and everything, and then you put it on uh, shop-bought bits of toast. I did. Now, Nigella, wouldn't it be easier to buy the hummus and put it on toast you made? Because <laughs> I, I, I know how to make toast. But you can make the toast too, but it wasn't really like toast, they were like biscuits. You know, toasty biscuits. Oh, right. Yeah, I, you know, I'm very liberal. If you feel like you want to make your own toast, I don't complain. Uh, I know Lawson, you don't. Uh, a question from... What's uh, hummus? It's a chickpea puree. Oh. There was a gasp of astonishment in the I audience. Know. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. I was some vegetarian. <gasps> he just did this. <laughs> he never shocked me before, but now he has. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, I just didn't no. know. Uh, I'm uh, a vaginitarian. Uh, you... <laughs> I can see that hummus wouldn't play a great part. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, listen, you're on tour, you're working very hard at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Yesterday, <laughs> you were at Wembley. How did that go? Oh, good. Yeah? <laughs> Do you think people are enjoying you in Manchester as we speak? <laughs> <laughs> There's just one thing I have to fix. There's some guy in Texas that thinks I want to challenge him for the world's record of bathing in rattlesnakes. I read about and that. I Why would someone in Texas do it? <laughs> Precisely. Why that's would where... anyone yeah, anywhere that's... do it? <laughs> no, but you know, but why would I take a bath? I haven't showered in four days, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> but yeah, you talk about you talk about the the, uh -oh. the, the no. You were just saying there about the some uh -oh. guy thinks you want to challenge him mm -hmm. to a thing. Okay. There are so many stories about you. Now I think you must get bored on tour uh, because but in, I don't know if these are true. In 2001, it says, uh, you were accused of lowering your genitals onto a security guard's head at a concert. 
I was exonerated of that crime. <laughs> but okay. was it expunged from the records? No. No, no, well, <laughs> it wasn't expunged. That's what they said. <laughs> Uh, Pretty, you were arrested in Italy for uh, coming on stage dressed as the Pope. <laughs> Technically, yes. Were they polite? It was Rome. Yeah. They don't have a big sense of humor about the whole Pope. <laughs> uh, 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 is this true? At your early gigs, you used to hang a pinata. You know a pinata, those uh, animals that you mm -hmm. hit the stick? Mexico. Yeah. Is that true? No. Well, the Did second part is. It was filled with meat. So you tell people not to touch it. I said, don't hit this, whatever you do. And I gave him a bat. <laughs> Just a test in human psychology. But they would always hit it. Of course they did. And I could tell you, dancing around in that shit is not fun. <laughs> it was awful and things. It was, you know, whatever you guys eat here, like cow intestines. Oh, you'd have loved it, Nigella. I would. You'd be catching it in a pan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else? Your oh, mother... No. Is this... This sounds... That your mother keeps your foreskin in a jar? It was in a small contact lens sort of case. <laughs> like a shriveled-up mm. lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> We're hoping Sotheby's at some point. I'm sure you're right to... It, no, it's true. She's I'm right not exaggerating. She really... <laughs> if she ever came here, she would wave it around. Maybe even start a rap song. <laughs> That'd be lovely. Uh, I'm told you took an ecstasy uh, at a zoo in Florida. Is that true? Yeah. Where do you get your facts? Yes, it's true. It was the first time I saw a baboon face to face. And they said, whatever you do, don't look him in the eye. So that's all I could do. And it... Is that because on the ecstasy, you got into the cage with the baboon? Yeah, they actually let me in. Some irresponsible <laughs> bastard said, let's put Marilyn Manson on ecstasy in a cage with a red-ass baboon. <laughs> Is it fun? I survived. <laughs> Very quickly, there are some myths about... Well, I don't know if there are myths about you as well. My life is so dull compared to this. Hey! <laughs> Whose oh, wouldn't be? Dull. Apparently, you ate... Is, it, is the pickled eggs thing true? Well, that, the pickled eggs is not the same thing as going into a cage with a baboon. Well, how many pickled <laughs> eggs did you eat? A lot. A whole... 20? Nearer 30, but it was for a bet. How much was the bet for? A thousand pounds. Ooh. Actually, some people were going, oh, they look delicious. And you know what? <laughs> I mean, how stupid it challenged me not to be so I had to do it. I made them all put the money on the table in front of me, and then I just concentrated on that, and I ate them, and I, I bounced back. So the next day, I did have scrambled eggs for breakfast. Completely all right. But what was going on inside Nothing. You? I've got a very robust <laughs> constitution. Uh, and is it... And, and uh, this is the last of my is it trues. Uh, is it true that you never wear knickers? It's not true that I never wear knickers, but it is true that I sometimes don't wear knickers. <laughs> no, Marilyn. <laughs> Guest. Uh, oh, now, I, uh, actually, back to you, though. There is the thing that you were going to have a... Uh, you wanted a tattoo on your penis, is that right? But uh, you thought it might be too sore. I don't That's... know that one. I wanted to put a tattoo, if I would get one there, that would say, buyer beware. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to say? I'm impressed there's enough room. I tell you. Well, thank you. <laughs> and I can assure you that he knows there is. <laughs> Why? Why, <Marilyn. laughs> uh, well, no, I'm uh, no, hey, I'm here to tell you that uh, we can find out if it does hurt because uh -oh. uh, there's a man called John Bevan in South Wales. Uh, John, John's here. Where? There's John. Hello, John. Hello. Hi, nice to see you. So now, so you, 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 you tattooed the, you tattooed it. Yeah. How long did that take? Wait, uh, his penis. Yeah. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Let's have I it. I thought you'd be interested. So. That's about fifty hours. How many? Fifty. Fifty right. hours. Fifty hours. He could have made my lamb shanks in that time. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be <laughs> Who was tattooing this? Like Mengele or something? <laughs> 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 was, oh, it's you're terrible. the tattoo man. I am, oh, yeah. you did it. Sadist. Yeah. yeah. You can tell that. You can tell that no, by did, his did it hurt? Uh, No, it didn't because I used a skin anaesthetic. Ah. 
Um, it couldn't be done without. Right, but as I was, you, you oh, did, yeah. you did the front. Yeah. But I hear you also did the back as well. Yes. We finished what's called a pair of shorts. Yes. And when somebody else took a picture for me, because you got a job to see around there. Yes. I thought, there's a I big white patch this. of skin here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so well, yes. So I went back. <laughs> So I went back to Dave and said, we've got to fill this in somehow. Oh, God is in the details, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to see his tattoo? Yes. <laughs> OK. I, I thought you might say that. You didn't tell me about it. But, these. ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is a nice programme. Uh, we're not going to show you his tattoo. <gasps> but can we so see I just it? Need, I need a volunteer from the audience who will be the eyes of the audience. <laughs> now, you can have a look too, but someone in the audience who wants to have a look. Uh, wait, wait, red shirt up there. That oh, we've got a nurse! <laughs> you can describe exactly what's going on. Come down, you. <laughs> what's your name? Oh, hang on. What? Hello. What's your name? Sandy. Sandy. Okay, you go behind the screens with uh, John. There's John. Yes, You're John and Sandy. To. She's a professional nurse. Okay, she knows what she's doing. Too? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I gotta see this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. A second. <laughs> All right. No touching. Who's gonna Sandy. fluff? Sandy. Oh, I now, need a fluffer. <laughs> John. John, unleash the beast. Here we go. And then Sandy, we need you to describe fluff what you see. Fluff it up a little bit. Fluff it up. There he goes. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Let the knickers coming down too. All right, yes, come on, now. show that's it to her. That's a dick. That's a shirt. Show it to her. Sh show her. <laughs> You're a bad man. Okay, Sandy, what, what, what can you see? It's beautiful. It's got turquoise. It's got a. Like, Does the word snake? Jackson Pollock come to mind? A snake. A snake. Dragon. Jackson Pollock. No, it's not dripping. <laughs> beautiful colours, beautiful colours, every colour of the rainbow, wings, oh. beautiful wings up across the, the pelvis, fire Sandy, colours. Sandy, did you have a drink before the show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, is, no. is there a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? <laughs> no, and, and now, OK, so that's, so it's a dragony thing at the front. No, beautiful wings. All right, right now, uh, John, could you reveal the... The belt? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> She's a nurse, I keep forgetting. <laughs> have a, have a look, have a look again. What do you see? There's a dragon looking in. <laughs> well, go have a look. Oh, I go, want to have a look. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Be wow. Behave. <laughs> hey, John, pants off. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much, Sandy. You see a pants off. It's not good. I'm not even soft, and that's soft. Thank you very much, Sandy. Oh, dear. Now, apparently you like hairy men, I read. I do, yes. Well, why not smooth men? I like an animal. Hmm. I like them all hairy. Otherwise, I, I, don't see, I, don't, I don't think they're different enough from women. I'm smooth, sorry. Oh. You can wear a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Little merkin. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then... no, I like it all over back as well. <laughs> I do. Really? Yes. I like a pelt. Super news. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> you, too, have a book. And uh, I uh, you're writing a new book. Yeah. So buy this one quickly before the new one comes out. <laughs> uh, now, this one, I have to say, these are genius. This only ten years ago. It's as relevant today as when you wrote it. <laughs> That's uh, the way I tried to keep it. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, this is basically say, you, it's you saying that you can honestly say you've never cheated on your girlfriend. That's because you play by the rules which are listed here, and there's a, a list of rules... Uh, and I abide by these yeah, rules. Yes, for not cheating on your girlfriend. So, do you remember some of them? If it's anal, it doesn't count. That's in here. <laughs> uh, also, blowjobs don't count. They're like handshakes and autographs. <laughs> oh, then there's... A, yes, if you cuddle, you are cheating. Yeah. OK. Uh, intimacy, is, <laughs> intimacy is the first sign of uh, trouble. And now, this is how much uh, Marilyn l would love his girlfriend. If you fuck someone the night before seeing your girlfriend, it's OK, because it's just practice to make sure you don't prematurely ejaculate with your girlfriend. <laughs> That's exactly that right. That's lovely. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's really nice. Now, I'm just... You're looking out for your loved one. Yeah. Now, 
Also, and this is very handy for some of the younger people in our audience, there might be some young men in tonight, a little confused about the sexuality. Um, if you meet any of these qualifications, you are gay. You know you're gay if. Uh, can you remember any of these? It's ones? a very long list. If yeah. your name is Graham Norton. That's a big, that's a first. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even on the list, but that's a given. Uh, uh, oh, I like that. If Michael Stipe is in the room with you and you're having oh. sex with a woman, you're bisexual. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> If the Smiths are playing when you get your hair cut, you're gay. If you've ever worn a beret. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that, that if, you, if you suck another boy's cock, that doesn't automatically make you gay. No, because I did that, but I didn't have a hard-on, so I'm safe. <laughs> so if you get a hard-on while you're doing it, yes. very say, gay. When you say safe, it doesn't look that safe. Yeah. The only reason I can make these rules is because I've had another man's penis in my mouth, but it was business only. <laughs> it was not for pleasure. Ooh, do be careful, everyone. If you jack off and you get cum on yourself, is that gay? <laughs> yes. Lads. <laughs> <laughs> Never doing that again. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah. I know. Uh, well, listen. <laughs> uh, there's been some uh, rule-breaking going on uh, here in the world of politics. I don't know, Marilyn, if you're interested in the issue of British political party funding? No? Well, it's huge <laughs> here. Uh, no, seriously, a guy called uh, David Abrahams gave £650,000 anonymously to the Labour Party. Now, Mr Abrahams wanted to be anonymous, uh, so here he is. Uh, that, <laughs> that's him. That's Ooh. an old photograph. I've seen a more recent photograph and he's got much less hair. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> this is something you won't recognise him. He's still anonymous. Actually, when they printed this photo in the Sunday Mirror, uh, the Sunday Mirror did its best to keep Mr Abraham's name out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that seriously was in the paper. Oh, what was going okay. on with the journalist there? Was the cat walking across the computer <laughs> keyboard? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Abrahams uh, is described as a confirmed bachelor with a love of light musicals. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking of financial scandals, Nigella, is it true you'd a life as a thief? I don't think. Mm, when. Well, it depends <laughs> what. Uh, there were incidents. I know, I know you didn't do time. There were incidents. <laughs> That are regrettable. Yes. Which ones are you referring <laughs> to? <laughs> I was going with food related ones. It's okay. Fine. Carrots. Food related ones. Yes, you used to steal cheese, didn't you? Oh, well, mm. only when I was at university. <laughs> Apparently, you could be arrested at university. Well, I used to do that, you know, that thing of when you have a share of fridge and everyone has bits, and I used to ransack the fridges, and then just so that I could look innocent, I would say, Someone stole my cheese and my butter, and I'd be, meanwhile, cooking away. That's clever, the old <laughs> diversion tactic yeah. there. Mm. I thought you were talking about when I sold tickets, raffle tickets for the PDSA, um, which is. The protection, something for the protection of animals of some sort. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you child. care too much. <laughs> and I sold these raffle tickets in the park. Went to Smith's, um, bought the raffle tickets, sold them in the park, and came back. And we were so thrilled. My mother, of course, thought this was really very resourceful, wonderful. But she made, made this great mistake of telling my grandmother, who took it all very seriously. And she came over and she took all our winnings and sent them to the PDSA. <laughs> <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Now, listen, uh, we've got a little food story for you. Uh, because researchers have discovered the hidden messages behind a variety of dishes. Now, I say oh. researchers, actually, I mean students with a clipboard. Uh, apparently, uh, we've prepared, no, seriously, wait to see the findings. Uh, we've prepared different foods uh, when we're about to do different things. For example, uh, food to dump someone. What do you cook when you go to dump someone? Any ideas? Nothing. Nothing? I, I could do that. A cat. <laughs> Actually, nothing I says mean... you're dumped, like... <laughs> <laughs> a cat litter cake. I, I think, think that's, that's it. Yeah. Uh, well, this is the right answer. I know! It's too much trouble. Sausage and mash. And delicious. Why would you cook anything? I just think... I agree. Change the locks and don't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I find that one. Now, um, uh, food for a marriage puzzle. Well, you're going to marry them. You're going to ask them to marry them. What, what would you say, the answer? Does it have chocolate in it? Uh, no. Oh. So I would have gone with something like oysters or... Mm. So, so what would you... Ecstasy and vodka seems like... 
It works. He needs his own cookery program. <laughs> this week, crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the answer. Yeah. Now, how many people do you think they asked in this survey? <laughs> like, well, we're, well, I made it's fine. That'll do me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Thai green curry uh, was choice for men planning a marriage proposal, to which the bride then replies, me love you long time. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get passport? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hot spicy dishes like a curry, uh, you kind of think it's not very romantic for a marriage proposal, is it? No, you know, not very. Darling, no. will you? Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> Again. It's, it's good to know what lies ahead. Though. I know. <laughs> And uh, finally, the perfect food to really send a clear message that a relationship is over is, of course, alphabetty spaghetti. <laughs> uh, uh, now, uh, apparently you never watch yourself on TV. No. Now, you don't know what you're missing. I don't. No, seriously. No, no. I'd, I'd feel uncomfortable. Really? Yes, it's like looking at... I mean, everyone feels that. If you look at photos or if you ever hear your voice... On, do you watch yourself on TV? There's nothing else on my Sky Plus. It's just me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I... Well, listen, I, I think you're missing out because it's gorgeous, it's sexy, it's, it's, it's brilliant. So, we're going to oh, give you... someone in the audience the chance to sex up one of your fast recipes, the express recipes. So, uh, oh. is there anyone in here who reckons they're a whiz in the kitchen? A whiz in the kitchen? There's a funny-looking man up there. <laughs> um, I, what do we think? I see, see that guy with the blue armband and the... In the, I think he'd look quite good in Nigella Nigel okay. Wick. Yes? Yeah, I would, yeah. actually. And what's your name, sir? Me, Darren. Darren. All right, Darren, <laughs> off, oh, get up and you go up the stairs there. Someone will lead you to the kitchen. <laughs> there goes Darren. <laughs> no, up, 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 up the stairs. You do think, good luck following a recipe if you didn't understand up the stairs. <laughs> 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 Now, uh, while he's getting ready, I just wanted to chat about food. Now, you must get asked this all the time. But uh, what is the, the most kind of horrible thing you've ever eaten? Well, there's nothing horrible, because I like all food. I mean, really all food. But I did have a bit of a fry-up of lungs when I was in Austria last year. <laughs> Liver and lungs. It was delicious. It sounded odd, and I had to order it, because it did sound odd. And I was with... I was filming at the time, so it was my crew, so I felt I had to... Show, show off. But it was really delicious. In fact, they're all quite squeamish about things, but they did try it as well. All right. So, now, uh, so is, 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 is Darren firmly ensconced in his kitchen? I believe he is. Yes? Because what uh, Darren doesn't know is we have found the worst smelling, most disgusting thing in the world. Okay? <laughs> it is this. No. Okay. Oh, no. Now, this is uh, uh, Surstroming. Mm, Surströmming, sur sur right? <laughs> and it's a Swedish delicacy. It's soured fermented herring. Now, to be honest, to be honest, oh. it's not as nice as it sounds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, you, there's no best before date on this. Guy. <laughs> it's already popped a bit. No, it, star see? it started yeah. to swell. It doesn't matter when you eat it, it's always... It cannot go off, this food. All right. <laughs> According to the sellers, this is a bit worrying, OK? Best eaten outdoors. <laughs> now, I think you know you're in trouble when the serving suggestion is oh. in a prairie alone. <laughs> uh, now, after it's fermented for a year, it has quite this pungent odour described as combining rotten eggs, rancid butter and vinegar. <laughs> Amy Winehouse in a can. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't even know. I'm He's sorry. on fire! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> the thing is, I can't open it in the studio. No, I don't want to. Uh, no, I'm not going to make you eat it, don't worry. Uh, I the... would rise to the challenge. Would you really? I think I would have to. But not to, to Amy See, Winehouse. the trouble is, I'd like to see you eat it, but I don't want to be here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> which is why Darren's in that kitchen. Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> give us some idea of what it's like. We have somebody who has opened it and eaten it. Where's the herring eater man? Herring eater... Oh, there you are, sir. Hello. Uh, so now, is it really that bad? It's terrible. Now, what's your name? I'm Robert. Robert. And uh, now, you edit it in Sweden and you made a little film of yourself eating it. That's right. Yeah. So uh, we can have a look no. at a, a little bit of you <laughs> eating uh, this stuff. We've come to eat some stinky fish. Looks innocuous enough, doesn't it? 
See that you can see it all there. YouTube, it's all there. Uh, now, was it really that? Were you like hungover or anything? Quite, yes. Oh, okay, Red so that didn't help. Well. And also, can I just say, I don't think the Swedish tourist board will thank you for that film. <laughs> <laughs> in some sort of grim urban landscape with some graffiti, <laughs> eating this. Um, now, I have to say, now you, so you know how bad this is, and that gives us some idea of how bad it is. So, wouldn't it be mean to make some poor, unsuspecting person eat that? Yeah. Well, I believe. Uh, Darren, our Nigella wannabe, is ready. So uh, here we go. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> oh! Hello. <laughs> you look fabulous. Oh, cheers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, uh, Darren Ella. Now, Jenna's going to read the direction. Do you follow? I love the working the hair. It's very good. <laughs> Excellent. OK, have you ever seen Nigella's programme? <laughs> yes, I have, yes. She doesn't actually rub her tits. She's <laughs> <laughs> not short of that. Uh, okay. OK, Darren, are you ready, Darren? I am, yes. OK. In a batter jug, whisk the eggs, milk, finely sliced spring onions and okay, olive eggs, oil eggs. together. Oh, eggs. OK, get, get another egg, eggs. get another egg. Kiss the egg, kiss the egg. <laughs> suck the egg, suck the egg. <laughs> oh, suck the egg. Stop. Oh, yeah, Three oh, eggs. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Break it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Very okay, a bit good. of milk, bit of milk. Milk. Oh, oh it's delicious. <laughs> oh. God, that's good. Okay. And now you've, you've got some, um, you should have some smash or something like that there. Powdered oh, potato? Stuff. Powdered potatoes. Yeah. Just okay. a bit. Maybe, maybe smear that on your face a bit. You love it. You love it so much. You can't get enough. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Oh, that's good. OK. okay. So we play the topping? What's on the yes, topping? Well, well, normally I do smoked salmon, but I've got this delicacy from Sweden there, which you could try instead. Uh, where's that now? Oh, in the top of the jar. OK. If you want to open that there, Darren, and, and uh, put some on the thing. Not bad. the kitchen if you hold that herring up to your face. Take the lid off, hold the herring up to your face. And, yeah, wait. <laughs> wait. And then just go, rancid herring makes me feel so hot. Oh, I've come. <laughs> right, right, right up to your face. Rancid herring makes me feel so hot. Oh, I've come. Mmm, rancid, <laughs> rancid herring makes me feel so hot. I've come. Oh, well in the mood for another exotic dish. Yes, singing for us tonight, it is my favourite R&B superstar. It is Rihanna, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Look at you, the gorgeous of it all. Hello, darling. Hey. 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 You like to sit down here, you all shut up a little bit. Just stop here, there you go. Hey. Uh, Rihanna, you? have you met Marilyn? Yes, yes. yes. we met upstairs. Hey. And uh, Rihanna, Hi. have you met Hi. Nigella? Hi. Ella, I like Ella? <laughs> to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Now, <laughs> Why can't I sit in the middle? Hmm? You can chat later. You can chat later. No, I just want to sit in the middle. <laughs> I like girls. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, how are you, dear? Good. And what are you going to be singing for us tonight? I uh, Hate That I Love You, my new single. <gasps> it is a hit, isn't it? Thank and, you. And uh, I believe, do I, yes, I have it in here. And it, there's an album out at the moment as well. Yes, Good Girl Gone Bad. It's and you're on tour as well. Yes, I'm touring Europe and the UK, and right now we're in the UK. We just finished Europe. Oh, for, and where are you going to be next? Manchester. Good answer. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. <laughs> 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 Me too. Usually Same I don't day. know. 
Usually I don't know, but we're shooting a DVD for Manchester, so. Me too. That's the only reason I know. Same day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. we're both going to be in Manchester the same day. That spells oh. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rihanna's team will be keeping her well away. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> um, can I just say you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. You really do. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, Rihanna, you are about to sing for us. Off you go. But please, first thank my guests, Marilyn Manson and Magella Lawson. <laughs> We're about to do our cool down, which you can see on our cut repeat this Sunday night, or go to our website for clips and info about the show. But now to play us out with her new single, Hate That I Love You. It is Rihanna! I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hi, nice to see you. Hello, hello, hello. No, no, no. <laughs> show us, and um, I totally forgot to ask about this, but this is a cool down. Okay. This is kind of the end of the show. What happened to your microphone? Did it go away already? Um, it's right here. No, no, the, the fabulous microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. Do they take that already? Yeah, it's oh. coming back. Don't worry about it. Because <laughs> did you notice the blingy microphone? <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Oh, here it is. Thank you very much. Like the way that was just whipped off. They took one look at the audience, though, don't leave her alone with it. <laughs> so, talk us through it. It's real. Um... Not real stones. But it's real gold, isn't it? No way. Is that just a piece of crap? Uh, <laughs> I thought it was worth thousands of dollars. Well, it is. Oh, that's dollars, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is, but <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, so they sell me precious stones? No, they're not. Are they precious stones? They're made to look. Sparkly. Okay. <laughs> Were you really ripped off with this microphone? <laughs> no, you see, it doesn't make any sense paying that amount of money to get a microphone made when these stones will fall off, the mic drops, you know, oh, we always run around. Oh, okay. But it still looks stuff. beautiful. 
Thank you. What's a bad gal? Bad gal. <laughs> Which means that I'm a bad girl. Really? Yes. Mm. Uh, well, listen, do you mind sitting down for one second? Because I'm just going to do a thing. OK. Because, uh, sorry, excuse I. Excuse I, <laughs> we're off. Uh, now, because, uh, OK, you can sit beside. Do you mind sitting beside Marilyn? <clears throat> Not at all. This is very short, this bit. <laughs> very short. Please. Marilyn, yes. focus. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question now. Mm. Now, what the... Can you, you smell how lovely she is? She's yes. lovely. Smell, thank yes. you. Yes. Thank yes. You. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> um, what was the thing about you? You had a mobile... Fo your mobile phone ring was you, or was it somebody shouting? What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> You'd, uh, you'd, like, you swearing on your cell phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But was it you shouting on your phone? Yeah. OK, so, uh, mm. are there any Marilyn Manson fans in who'd like that to be their ringtone? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Ooh, quite... One a... person! Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> no, there's no letter <laughs> there. Have you got a phone with you? Yes. Have you got... Yes. You, is it on? No, 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 no. Oh, yes, that was your... What, what's your name, lady? Alexia. What? Alexia. How old are you? I'm 18. 18, so you're old enough to have swear words on your phone. OK, come with me. All right, come, 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 come. All right, up here. Now, um, OK. OK, now, so I'm going to put on this phone and then I'll send it to your phone, okay. OK? Later on, technically. You sit there. All right, be very careful. Don't steal anything or touch anything. <laughs> uh, OK, so what do I do? I go to menu. This could take ages. <laughs> uh, menu. I go over here to... Organizers and tools, I'm doing so well. <laughs> uh, I go down to uh, record sound. OK, so <laughs> what I'll do is I'll press that, and then if you do some Marilyn Manson nasty swear words, you can go, this is Nigella, and then you can go, Ella, Ella. <laughs> OK. Oh, it'll please me. OK, it'll please, it'll please me. And oh. it is your phone, after all. All right, all right. <laughs> this so. is just a ploy. I know, really, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> OK, so we're going now. So this is the ringtone now. OK, here we go. Graham Norton does not smell good. Rihanna does. Go fuck yourself. This is Nigella. <laughs> Ella. Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Loving that. Oh. I have a funny feeling I mightn't have recorded any of that. <laughs> Hang on. I suppose play. Can we just take a moment to look at his bulge? <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. Thank you very much. Wow. You can suck it later in a non-gay way. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Uh, I'm something so... else. I know, no, that's vile, no, vile. No, no, uh, yeah, recorded that's sound. Vile. No, maybe I'm I have recorded I'm... it. Can, can someone in the control thingy call this? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Graham Norton does not smell good. Rihanna does. Go fuck yourself. This is Nigella. Ella. Ella. <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs>